Kristen, where do you want to eat? Minions Cafe. Okay. Good afternoon from... Universal Studios Florida. We are here for the brand new Minions Cafe that opened today at time of recording. It was absolutely horrible this morning with rain and thunderstorms. So if you watch any other vlogs, that's probably what it was like, but it's nice and bright and sunny for us. Let's head inside. Today is the official soft opening of the new Minions Land. Now I say soft opening because Universal did not announce this. This was like leaked on the news last night. And also, the whole land is not open, which is very, very confusing. They have a brand new ride attraction, Villain Con. We've talked about it before on this channel. That is not opening anytime soon. Apparently they have a lot of bunch of issues with that and the land is open now, but it's really just the, the, the restaurant. This is the yet to be announced opening date of Villain Con Attraction, which is where the old Shrek ride used to be, or the Shrek movie at least. It is not a movie, it's a moving walkway attraction. We'll see what that exactly means soon, I hope. Let's take a look at the massive exterior of this very, very detailed building that's brand new. Seriously, so cool that we're here for opening day. They have the illumination meet and greet spot. Obviously, there's just two minions here for now, and I think that's probably what it's gonna be for the time being. We have an overall shop, which is kind of cute. These are all obviously fake facades, except for this one, which is a store which we'll be going in later and obviously they have cupcake unicorn -y type stuff in here this gift shop here is called bake my day obviously cute decorations we're going to be going in there later my main question is what is this going to look like during halloween horror nights is this just going to be like is it going to be the scariest scary stuff and then over here is just a minion on top of a cupcake i it's gonna be a little weird. <laughs> Probably my favorite part of this whole facade is this sign here, this freeze ray pops. This is, this is so cool. And it's a walk-up window for like frozen treats, which is basically just popsicles. Here we also have the Bank of Evil, which unfortunately is not an ATM. Why is this not an ATM spot? Like that would be perfect, but, and that leads us to the official Minion Cafe. Let's head inside. <laughs> I was kind of shocked they were able to finish construction this quick, but being in line now, I can tell that it's not all the way complete. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a construction worker that has not even finished painting. He's very messy. Uh, there, there's, there's really, there's no reason they should be doing this. In all seriousness, I think this is a photo op. You can grab the handle, sit here. Lighting is not very good in this area. There's literally like two tiny light bulbs, but maybe at night it's better. I don't, I don't know. The seating setup is a little weird. We got brought in by a seater, we sat down, we finished our mobile order, we scanned. It feels like it's a sit down restaurant because we had like a waiter bring us our silverware. I think that's justifying the $18 cheeseburgers that we just bought was that it's a sit down restaurant even though it's, it is but it isn't because there isn't a counter, you know? This is a PX41. Um, this one's really good. This is a lemonade with strawberry and kiwi, I believe. And this one's the antidote. This one I do not believe has been tried. This one has whipped cream and pop rocks on it. This one is supposed to supposedly taste like a banana cream pie. So Ryan will definitely not step within 20 feet of this one. That's so weird. I actually, this one's really fun. Really? It tastes like a banana cream pie. <laughs> yep, and it's got like graham crackers on top with icing it t it's it's the called it's called the antidote and it's got uh graham cracker crumbles on top with icing i think the only reason they called this drink the antidote is so that you could buy both and you have to have both to get the full experience which i don't i don't think is necessary i would probably personally i already tried the the purple one i'd probably just I'd probably just get the purple one. I don't like bananas. We have had the first half of our order show up. Obviously, we highlighted the drinks already. We have Carl's Crispy Cauliflower right here, which has some blue rice with it. Yeah, yeah that's blue rice. We have the Mel's something. Mel's Meatball Mountain. Mel's Meatball Mountain right here, which is basically like a calzone but it's like spilling outwards and it has like little I don't what are these things mozzarella. we have mozzarella meatballs 
in a calzone type thingy. That's cool. We have, this is the Minions Swiss roll with a real banana. That's a fresh fruit. I think they just shop at Publix for this. Um, and then we also have this last one, which is the unicorn cupcake. The fluffy unicorn cake. The fluffy unicorn cake. We also have the steak and cheese ray sandwich with a little squeezy thing on top. I'm not gonna squeeze it. And that like puts che more cheese into the center, which is cool, but uh, too much cheese for a lactose intolerant boy. I don't wanna poop myself today. This comes with, what are these? Minion tots. Minion tots, which are kinda cool. They're like the smiley face ones that come in like the microwave meals. So we're gonna start off with what's right in front of me, the Agnes Honeymoon Soup. This is a green tomato soup with crispy pork belly, tomato gummy bear, basil oil, served with a pimento cheddar grilled cheese sandwich for $14.99. Then right up here, we have the Chicken Stewart's Szechuan Surprise, which I think honestly might be the best looking dish on the table. For $16.99, it's got a Szechuan glazed rotisserie chicken, stir fried vegetable, lo mein, and wow, can't wait to try that. Then right over here, we've got El Macho Salsa y Salsa Ropa Vieja. It's braised beef with tomato, cucumber salad, cilantro rice, salsa roja, and El Macho Tostones. Yum. That one costs us $17.99, so a little bit pricey. Moving up here, we've got Otto's Noodle Bowl. Again, $17.99. It's got slow roasted porchetta, udon noodles, tar egg, cilantro, roast corn, shrimp dumpling, and tonkatsu broth. That's a lot of grub. <laughs> That's a lot of grub. <laughs> Moving right next door, we've got Bob's Teddy Bear Chocolate Cream Puff for $6.99. It's filled with chocolate whipped ganache. And then right over here, we've got Otto's Pet Rock. So let's, let's do a group dunk, ready? Group dunk. Three, two, one, dunk. <laughs> Okay, so I hear the soup is salty, but we're gonna get a piece of the pork belly. I wanna get some more basil oil in there. And let's try the soup solo. Okay, everybody, how would you rank the soup, Isabel? Bad. It's very, very salty, and um, I feel like you don't get a ton for how much it was. It was like 14 bucks, 14.99, 14.99, which uh, it's not very filling for that price. Also, um, how often are you gonna want to come get some hot soup at a theme park? Out of ten, what would you rank it? Um, I would probably say like a six. Like it, it could be better, but the value definitely wasn't there. You can really see that porchetta, the nice thick udon noodles, roasted corn, you got that shrimp dumpling in there, and a nice boiled egg. I've never actually had ramen before. What? You've never had ramen before? No, I've had ramen noodles. <laughs> Those are actually udon noodles. In yeah. Which I had a lie detector plug in for Premiere Pro, so I could, I could hook it up lying? to it. <laughs> I'm the most honest food reviewer on this application. That's the joke, is that there's a lot of people that don't do that, you know? Most honest And you reviewer. are being honest, very honest. Brutally it's honest at times. I'm not really sure how to grab this dish here. I think I'm going to take my little fork, do a little twirl for some noodles. I don't know, how, I got to try and get everything on the fork, hold on. How do you share this? This is not gonna be shareable. Uh, I will try some of that actually. I think we're gonna have to take turns on this one. Yeah, it'll be a take one bite. Pass, pass the plate. It. Yeah, <laughs> pass the plate. Okay, we're gonna do a big bite here. She's getting soup juice all over my mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's pretty yummy. The noodles are really thick. I know they're not like traditional noodles, these are udon noodles. Um but I kind of enjoy like the thick chewiness of the udon noodle in this. The, the flavor of the broth is really nice. The pork heta is also very flavorful. This is the best part of the fireworks show that doesn't exist anymore. That was a good show. Better than Happily Ever After. <laughs> I know you're lying about that. <laughs> yeah. Liar. Talk about lying. We're going to try and get into this little pizza pocket next. Ooh! I see a lot of meatballs in there. This looks like the best value dish here. Can we get a cheese pull? Can we get it? 
Oh. <laughs> that was kind of disappointing. Yeah, that was so disappointing. Oh, I, I wanted a big cheese bowl. Take a bite, Ryan. Let's see how it is. Okay. I got to put some of these balls back in here because these balls dropped. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be messy. Very messy. It tastes like universal Italian food. Oh, no. It's nothing special. Oh, no. They have a taste to their Italian food here at Universal, and it's not bad. It's just it tastes like... The universal Italian, which is just like the bottom is really burnt. Oh, it is very burnt. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I, oh I don't my wanna, gosh. Yeah, but it's still good. I like it. I would order this over a regular slice of pizza from like you know Simpsons. Uh, there you go. For you. Thank you. Do you hear the song? Yes, I do. What is this manner of Muppet? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't know, this is trending on TikTok at some point. That's the only reason I know it. <laughs> the difficulty level of this meal is like expert if you're playing Guitar Hero. Because we are going around and like having to like share everything, but also at the same time make sure that we, because we don't have extra plates. It's not like a scoop this onto your own plate. It's like a take turns with the plate or like hover like Isabel's doing right now. I just almost dropped this and I thought I had soup underneath me. I hope things improve. The ramen was pretty good. I will say that, okay? Ramen was good. Soup, boo. Pizza, boo. Ramen, that was pretty good. Has, is that all we've tried so far? I don't know. <laughs> things better start improving because I'm not impressed so I far. I have high hopes for this one. Yeah, these, these better improve because so far I'm not impressed. The drinks were fun. I will say the drinks are fun. Next up, we have the crispy cauliflower, which is honestly the thing that I am most excited for trying. Um, we were recommended this on the outside by a team member who said that this was the best plant-based thing that was on the menu, which there's not a lot of plant-based stuff on the menu, but this does look like a good one. To make things even worse, we just found out this is $15.99. For five pieces of cauliflower, a scoop of weirdly blue rice, Maybe like three slices of cucumber and a handful of edamame. I think we just got got by Universal. They got us. <laughs> they, we got got. <laughs> oh, we are responsible adults, but for some reason not we are, when it comes to theme park food. We are now just doing the math on all this stuff because it's like okay, well this was 16, this was 18, this was 20 something. All these, it's it's just go to Chili's. Just go to Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the conclusion at the end of these videos. It happens every time. It's just like, just go to Chili's. I'm going to dip mine. Is that, is that okay? I'm going to dip mine as well. I'm not dipping mine. Dip. It's like a sweet chili sauce. It's better at David Buster's. <laughs> it's, it's straight up breading. And like, it's crispy breading. This was delicious. I would order this again. You're lying. I'm not kidding. What's cauliflower. None of them like the cauliflower. I love it. I am the only one in the group that likes this cauliflower. You like it too? We saved the best okay, for last well, then. Team cauliflower over here. Okay, so this is probably the best dish we've tried. We have tried so far. Taking a quick break from food, we're going to check out this setting, this entire restaurant. The massive centerpiece here has one of these minions. If you know the name of this minion, let me know. Oh, this is like a sushi bar, like thing. That's so cool. It's not spinning. I feel like it's supposed to be spinning. That's okay though. And this whole, wow. Honestly, they really clean this place up. If you are not familiar what this used to be, this used to be Monsters Cafe. I might be getting that. I'm pretty sure I'm getting that right. But it was uh, pretty run down. It was basically like a Fridays, but monster themed. People are going to be mad at me in the comments. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm saying. This is a much needed improvement. Some of the details they have in here. Look at all this ice. Is it actually cold? No, it's not actually cold. Um, he's got a freezer with all the favorite desserts of all the, the minions. Obviously a Coke freestyle machine. It's universal. How is it going to be universal without a Coke freestyle machine? These separate room themes are pretty interesting as well. This one seems to be like a an office -y type space. They have a water tank with fish in it. That's fun. Here is a old fashioned time clock with some punch cards from all the uh, workers today. We've got Bob, jo Job, Emery. Oh, I know what this is. If you're wondering, this is some of the Universal Creative team 
that has put their names and hidden them inside of the restaurant. This is so cool. I was about to say, none of these are Minion's names. That's That makes so much sense. M. Wood something, Josh, Khan, Brian. Yeah, none of these are actual Minions. We have a fun job board type thing over here. If you're looking for a rubber ducky for sale, only $500. Look at this. They have a vending machine, including a fart gun, which literally is probably the one that they have that they sell at Walmart. Some some minion shoes, some actual foods as well. An Eagles hair club. I don't what is that? This is one of the most unique tables I've seen at any universal dining experience, which is a foosball table with minions as the little players on the inside. You see this? Look at this! But honestly, my favorite detail of this entire restaurant when it comes to theming, oddly enough, is the wet floor signs. <laughs> now they do sell these on Amazon, this banana-shaped floor sign. I think they probably branded it themselves, but I've seen these before, but I was like, oh, they have to have this. And of course, they have this. I, we might have to use a knife. Now on paper, this looks like the best thing. It should be the best, right? I don't know. It should have fallen apart, but it's kind of in a little work there. It's you a little. You can't even cut yeah, it with a knife. This is, uh, yeah. I don't even know what else to say. It's yeah, just, it's just fine. Uh, yeah, I, like I don't even know what else to say. Like it's just, yeah, it, it it's exists. just okay. Like it's, I want to be blown away by something, and it just hasn't happened yet. Every single team member that has talked to us has told us that their favorite dish is something different, which is really telling because it means that nothing is really that good. <laughs> So. Or it means they were all trained to say different things. Could be, yeah. But before before Isabel said that, I was honestly thinking that exact same thing. And yeah, that's a little weird that everyone's favorite is something different. Like we've had someone recommend every single thing. Every single thing. Someone has said it's amazing. And I'm like, cauliflower. Um, but yeah. So we are trying to figure out how to share this one. I don't think it's possible. Um, I'm just like ripping apart this chicken right now. I don't know if that's right or not. We'll see. We'll see if this gives me diarrhea. How do the minions even do this? They can't reach their mouths with their hands. How do they eat? How does a minion eat? It's not a question for me. I've never seen the movie. You have not seen, who's your favorite character? Groot? I've never had Groot, yes. Groot is your favorite character? <laughs> Love Groot. <laughs> I agree, Groot is probably my favorite. I look just like him. He's, what does he say, I am Groot? I am Groot. This is a minion, tater tot, french fry, hash brown. What is it like? Like the smiley face things you used to get in at a hot lunch. How much did it cost? It was a one dollar. It was a one dollar upcharge. Could you give me a less than thirty second recap on this one? Whenever you're ready. It was. It's. It's like. It's like a a, a okay. potato so, side. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It's a one. It's a. It's a one dollar upcharge to get this instead of the 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 other chips, and it's it's the potato side that's not that's like the the ones you used to get in your hot lunches. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> She's doing what? This is Isabel with the minion tot. <laughs> it's like Her I'm arm was bouncing like, up and down. Like music video. Was it? I don't think it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> Here is my 10 second review of the minions. Good. That's good. That's not what you were asking for. <laughs> it's like a, it's ooh. like a memory foam <laughs> mattress. <laughs> we just. Ryan's worried he's going to throw up. I can't do this. It's not even worth it. What is this gonna get like 10 views? Pretend. Oh. I can't even pretend. I have to do it. I have to do it. Do it. Three, two, one, go. Do it. Do, do it. it. Now. Do it. Now. Okay. Ready? I'll count you down. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> that was not worth it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. I did not try to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
It's only happened one other time. <laughs> one thing I do want to say, uh, team members have been absolutely wonderful They today. really have. Super, super good. Um, uh, everybody. Uh, Isabel is really ready to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It has a chocolate mousse in there. The passion fruit is really good. It's almost all that I'm getting when I eat the passion fruit with the cake. The cake is, has literally no flavor at all. The passion fruit thing is good. But it's so overwhelming. Yep. Okay, this is coconutty apparently. It looks like we just dismantled Mickey Mouse's face. Oh, it does look like Mickey. It looks like Mickey Mouse. Hidden Mickey. Did you know you could get a Mickey dessert at? Oh, it's like ooh, ooh. it's like baking chocolatey, you know? Very like glass case, like dessert that you would get from like one of those like old people restaurants <laughs> with where they have the rolls on the table wrapped in Saran wrap. That's what it tastes like. You do without the bubble gum. The bubble gum kind of ruins it, honestly. We are back outside waiting in line for some banana flavored popcorn. We were in there literally for like maybe close to two hours at this point, right? It was a while. It was, it, it takes a lot. Uh, it's hard work being a <laughs> food influencer at a theme park. <laughs> Definitely. I wouldn't wish this on my worst, I'm just kidding. It was, <laughs> it's, it was a good time. We're having a really good time today. If you are wondering whereabouts the popcorn stand is, here is Minions Cafe right up against the show building for Transformers. And here is the popcorn cart right here. Um, pretty hard to miss. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera, but I could see the like banana butter glaze all over this, all the, over these kernels. I I don't like banana, so I'm not gonna like this. I'm not. We're not even buying this. We're gonna make Kristen buy this uh, and just put a mic on her for her review. Look at that. It just smells like regular popcorn. Like I don't even know if. Maybe a little like kettle corn. I don't know if I even smell anything sweet. I am a little confused why they're like attaching their like signature treat of this whole land to like banana and in popcorn form. I understand from like a Harry Potter butterbeer standpoint how that could work because that's really good, but I'm not even trying this stuff. I'm never gonna try it. Now, what is a new land without new merchandise? If you look up here, you could see one of the signature like popcorn bucket things, which is a minion holding a selfie stick. They also have like a road trip one. It's kind of hard to film. Kristen, Kristen says I can eat a piece and I'm kind of scared. No? It's popcorn. Okay, it's windy, but I'm gonna do it. Here, just move your hand, we got it. I'm gonna get some pieces right here. I'm doing it. It tastes just like a stale kettle corn, but not like kettle corn at the same time. Kind of weird, I don't like it. We are here over by the Freeze Ray Pops and they have a pickup window for it. Hi, hi, they have a pickup window. I didn't know that. Mobile order, um, I don't know who's mobile ordering uh, popsicles. I feel like they'd melt by the time you got up there. Here, we have specialty popsicles. We have the Minion, which is blue banana. We have the Gru, which is Nutella. And then we have a variety of flavors, including mango, strawberry, coconut, blueberry, lemonade, cotton candy, cheesecake, lemon mint, and cookies and cream. <laughs> I have no idea why the screen is doing that in the video. I'm sorry, I think it's the frame rate or something. I don't know. I know I said before, I would take you on a tour of Bake My Day but there is at least 237,000 people in there right now. We are not going inside. Kristen, you paid how much? 9.57 after tax. Isabel, freeze. That's embarrassing. Let's do that again. Cut that one out, Ryan. Isabel, freeze. Okay, I'm done. That's 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 the work done with this. Thank you very very much for joining us from the brand new Minions Land here at Universal Studios Florida. If you like the video, obviously like it, share it with your friends. We're a new channel, growing channel, all that type of stuff. Thanks again. See you guys next time. Bye.